So Barrett and I are installing the mason's form for the iron house uh, fireplace doors. This is pretty cool. Uh, really all we're doing is we're taking a drill bit that's smaller. Where's your screw Barrett? About the size of the shank. Um, and these are self-tapping screws. So really all we did was pre-drill through this thicker steel. It's about about a sixteenth of an inch thick, so just enough to get our self-tapping screw started. And uh, so we're going to install this. Hmm. <laughs> there, just started working with the self-tapping screws. Remember, just put light pressure and don't spin it too fast. What has happened is the end of our Phillips head bit's worn out and it's turning, so we're going to fix that and continue. Barrett's trying to get used to the self tapping screws and the, the whole system. There you go. Good job. Ah, stop. stop. <laughs> When you hear that ratcheting noise, that means it's uh, done its job. Alright. Oh, man. <sighs> well, I'm going to screw the screw up eventually. That, that's going to be a little bit difficult because the bottom flange is cocked a little bit. Just let it spin. Don't push it first. Just practice letting it spin okay. and holding it. No, you got to hold it. Now let it spin. Now just let it spin a little bit more. Ah. You gotta oh learn to gosh. control your speed with your finger. Yeah. It's like trigger control. There you go. Now just let it. Ah. Oh my gosh, this is just scary, man. For don't it's don't be scary. It's all in your mind. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> for someone where fingers is everything, you know. All right, drummer. You can do it. Am I going? Keep it spinning, son. Just let it spin. You gotta hold the drill straight or it ain't gonna go in straight. There you go. Keep going. Oh man, it died. The drill died? I'm not even kidding. Alright, stop pulling it back. I mean, just take the drill out. <sighs> Let me see. Are you kidding? We ran out of juice. What'd you get for letting a noob? What in the world? Alright, <laughs> we have better. another drill. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, this drill's wider and everything. Okay. Well, just uh, well, it's not even in the. There we go. Push hard now. Okay. <coughs> there you go. Now you see how that frame is kind of bent. You need to drive it in a little bit more. Push hard. Just stop when I say stop. Oh. All right. I guess it's up there. <coughs> okay. Stop. That's good enough. No, I don't think I had enough. Okay. So now. What have we got? Two more in the bottom? Just one more. One more? Cool. Okay, we're gonna get it, just kind of get it steadied. Get it going first. See? That's all there's to it. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you're just using your, um, if you'll, if you'll steady it, if you'll go ahead and be brave and steady it, you're, it won't slip off and it won't hurt you. Is it in? Hold on. No. That's in. Good job. Well, good when the stone's put in there. What we're going to do is we're going to have a margin of stone that goes all the way around the doors. 
of real stone that goes that comes out thicker than this frame. And then there'll be synthetic stone, stack stone on the rest of it. So I'll roll in a picture of the doors here now just to give you an idea of what they look like. And then uh, as we get the uh, stone on, I'll come back and do an update in the doors and the hearth and the floor. <laughs> Did you hurt your drummer finger? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> well, that wasn't too bad for a Friday morning job, was it? No. Nope. Well, uh, stone guys are supposed to start, what, a couple of days? Then we'll do an update. Thanks for watching. Where's your guitar? <laughs> <laughs> nice